Virgos, what's going on? Welcome to my channel, Readings by Marvelous Madame, okay? This is Marvelous Madame, go figure. All right, this is gonna be your May 2018, how does he or she feel about you? Right now, what you hear in the background is me shuffling. You hear me shuffling, I'm gonna be pulling one romance angel oracle. That's gonna serve as the theme, okay? The overall theme of today's reading, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and get this card pulled before I get into the rest of this, okay? So, Virgo, what's going on? Oh. I see what's going on. Flirt. That popped out. As soon as I said Virgos, what's going on? See? You see what I'm talking about, Virgos? Y'all are flirts too. Let's, let's just get, you know, for shits and giggles. Y'all be flirting with folks. But anyway, what's really good, Virgos? What's, what's, what's going on? What's going on? All right. So we got the overall theme of this reading today. 2018, how does Bay feel about you? That's B-A-E or B-A-Y, however you want to spell it. Okay. This is how they feel about you. Okay. Let's get into what I do and how I do it. This is going to be a five card reading with the Illuminated Tarot. The Illuminated Tarot is a deck that has been created that, is, that combines traditional tarot concepts with playing card divination, also known as cardomancy. If you hear me banging in the background, I apologize. I got heavy hands. They small too. But when they hit somebody though, Virgo, I'm just saying, but when they hit somebody, I've been told they hit hard. Come on now. If you know anything about, if you know anything about astrology, which if you keep rocking with me on my channel, you know, I'm going to be tying astrology concepts into my readings. But if you know anything, Virgo, about astrology, honey, let me tell you, not only do I got Venus in Taurus, I got Mars in Taurus. You know, that means I like to fight. Okay, don't tell nobody. Let's keep it rocking. This is going to be a five card spread. Again, the first two cards that I pull is going to indicate the presence past and the reason why I call it the present past is because it, it's present meaning that it was a short time ago but it's also the past meaning that it's not now those two cards are going to indicate that okay and then the, the card in the center the third card is going to indicate the heart of the matter and then the last two cards are going to be cards that indicate an outcome okay we're also going to be using the card that's at the very bottom of the deck when I'm done um, nothing has shuffled and flew out although flirt did when I was um, contacting and tapping into your energy so we got some flirtatious energy going on anyway hold on pause we got our five cards we're going to be using the overall energy at the bottom of the deck to further clarify the heart of the matter and the overall situation, okay? And just to provide us a little bit more clarity with how we rocking for the month of May, okay? I will be doing these monthly now. If they, you know, get popular, then I will be breaking them down. Um, I kind of did some analytics to see what subscribers like. I also subscribe to a bunch of people myself. I love it. I'm very passionate about this, but enough about me. Let's pull these cards and get into it, Virgo. Because, you know, y'all got some flirtation. Oh, oh, oh. We got some flirtatious energy going on and they just had a spill. They all spilled out. But we start with the five of hearts. And it's funny. What is funny about this? Well, <clears throat> the, the five of hearts flipped over and then the the cards that I had in the left hand they spilled on the board if you see the illustration in this card these are cups runneth over or spilling what y'all got going on Virgos is y'all flirting with somebody let me go ahead and get this deck I apologize for the banging I told you I got heavy hands I like to hit come on now Virgo rock with a sister okay rock with me all right <clears throat> What do we got going on here? I'm going to do a front shuffle. These cards are big and I love them. My little hands. I don't know why that is. It's like little people want to do big people stuff. Little handed people love big stuff. Come on now. I'm a, we're going to keep it clean. Okay. We're going to keep it clean. All right, Virgo. I'm going to pull. So the first card we got is. Oh, all right. We got the five of hearts. The second card that indicates the present past is the king of hearts. Uh-oh, the heart of the matter here is the nine of spades. Oh, this is good. 
But in the overall um, outcome, we have the ace of clubs. Uh oh. And then we end that with the two of clubs. Overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the seven of clubs. So we got a lot of clubs going on. You've been doing some socializing and whatnot. Okay. Let's just put that out there, Virgos. Y'all do like a good party. Mm -hmm. Okay. I dated a Virgo. Let's go. All right. So first and foremost, I just want to say that tapping into your energy here, I can definitely see that you guys have been getting out and having some fun. You got a spread full, basically outcome, overall energy theme socializing it's been showing that you guys have been getting it popping where you been going virgo y'all listen y'all been out getting it getting it just saying all right let's get it started because uh i could be here doing my little comedy bit all day all right so we start out with this five of hearts this five of hearts is indicated that bay is learning from mistakes and moving forward okay this is how bay feels about you this is not how you feel about Bay. Okay. So, Virgo, Bay is learning from mistakes and moving forward. That's the reason why this card is illustrated with all of this water and these cups spilt over. You got flowers and water just all over the damn place. That's what's going on. However, if you couple that in this present past with, <clears throat> okay, the King of Hearts, okay. This is sensitivity and creativity channeled into professional success. So in this particular deck, as I stated, the illuminated tarot, it, it pulls together concepts of tarot with playing card divination. I had this king show up in the last reading and there are going to be some times where I go off the cuff because from an intuitive standpoint, what I'm showing here is, is I don't read this king Although in traditional tarot, the king of hearts, or I'm sorry, the king of cups is a warm and thoughtful man or creative professions. OK, so this is saying professional success. I don't see this. This is a relationship reading. We're going to keep it pushing. This is a person. This is a king. This is a king that has something to say. Or that feels some type of way. Okay, remember we flirting. Let's let's pause for a second though. Let's pause. I apologize. The overall energy at the bottom of the deck is the seven of clubs. That is a struggle to stay ahead. Okay. So this is kind of telling two stories. And the reason why I say that is because if you look at the way that the cards are illustrated, especially the card on the end, when we get into the outcome, okay, there's going to be a conversation that two people have, okay? And there's some flirting going on. There's been some socializing, but there's also a lot of confusion. Um, Bay is in their head about you, Virgo. Let's keep it pushing. So we know five is, we know that we talked about that five, okay? And we know that that's learning from mistakes and trying to move forward. I think it's learning from mistakes and moving forward from past behaviors, something of that nature. This king is the person who's feeling that way, okay? Because the heart of the matter, and, and it's a struggle to stay ahead. It's a, it's a struggle to stay focused on that. There's some emotions going on. Instantly, we start off with some emotions. We got, a high, we got two hearts next to one another, the five of hearts and the king. This king, I don't know whether this represents a king from your past, whether this represents an ex, or, re this, or re whether this represents bae. And the reason why I say that is I see flirt and I see a lot of twos here. So there is a relationship that you're in right now with bae. Maybe this is a transfer of energies and you're both fulfilling the same way. I don't know yet, but I will say we start off with hearts and we end with clubs. This flirting is going on in the outcome. The flirting ain't going on right now. Extend your light heart and energy to others. This king wants to talk about how he's trying to move forward from, from his mistakes. So this person wants to make an emotional offer to you. 
But I think that's where it stops. Boom. Pause. You effed up, bae, or whoever this person is, or bae talking to you. And again, there's a lot of two. A lot in the outcome and the overall energy is two. Two squirrels on the seven of spades. I mean, on the seven of clubs. Two people on the two of clubs that is underneath that. I think this is telling two different stories here. And it's funny because I just did a reading for Gemini and they got two um, Oracle cards. But yet their story came together a little bit more than this one did. I see that this is one person. And I think that this is you, Virgo. Dealing with two different situations. And I don't think that the flirting has anything to do with the present past. I think this flirting has something to do with the outcome. I know this sounds crazy. Follow me. Okay. Now, learning from the learning from past mistakes and wanting to move forward. This king wants to move forward with you. This is a king of hearts that has an emotional message to deliver to you. I fucked up. Let's move forward. Pause. That's what went on in the past. Let's move forward. Now, the heart of the matter. I don't think that this is how Bay feels. I think that Bay is the one that is feeling like, and this is weird because this is a see and see Virgo. I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going to pause this. If this is resonating, book me for a private reading, please. Because I'm curious. I'm going to be nosy. What the what is going on? Book me. But we'll get to that. King, King of Hearts, I got something to say. My glass and my cup has runneth over. I fucked up. Pause, though. This is like night and day. This is like two different readings. I don't intuitively pick up on the fact that this is the same person. Pause it. Because at the heart of the matter, okay, that's how this person feels about you. Pause. I didn't say a pause like 19 times. Let's get on with it is the nine of spades. This is a decision that you got to make, Virgo. OMG, this decision keeps you up at night. You are, you're struggling to make sense with this. You like, wait, what? You fucked up. Based on your behavior, I didn't even think you wanted to fuck with me. But this person does. This is a decision that keeps you up at night. But why would somebody that fucked up like that? Their behavior touched you and hurt you and hit you at a deep place. And it keeps you up at night. Look at this woman. She can't sleep. Look at the way that the card is illustrated. It's swords under the mattress. Check it out. OK. But then I feel like we go from that. You're up at night, but you flirting. You feel what this king from the past is saying, but you flirting. You like, fuck it. I'm about to move around. And that is exactly what you did. And how I know that is because it doesn't look like this is the same person. Something deep down in me is not picking up on the fact that this is the same person, um, Virgo. OK, because we got the first major arcana out the, out the gate, baby. We got the first one and the outcome is the strength card. Now, what do we know about strength? What do we know about the strength card? The strength card is a major arcana. Gentleness with interest strength. Okay. And courage. Overcoming desire, building trust, having the courage to move on. You come out of this nine of spades energy. You do. You come out of this nine of spades energy with this strength card. Major Arcana. It's divinely guided. That means it's going to happen. Doesn't ma doesn't matter when something is divinely guided and, and is, is the universe telling you that it needs to be done. It can happen tomorrow. It can happen next month. It can happen next year It's going to happen. You come out of this. So if you Virgos, if you're not feeling like you're going to come out of this now, you're coming. OK, it's going to happen. And we end we end it. With the two of clubs, the two of clubs is a passionate conversation. What did I say? What did I say at the beginning? I said that this king of hearts want to have a conversation about how they done fucked up in the past. They want to let you know that they have corrected their ways and they want to move forward. This is how they feel about you. 
But with this flirt card, this flirt card don't got a damn thing to do with none of this. <laughs> you don't want to be bothered is what I'm getting. Now, I just get broke down how Bay feels about you. Bay feels like he fucked up. It's been keeping him up, him or her up at night. They find the courage to have this conversation with you. And I'm sorry that I have to say this, but the overall energy at the bottom of the deck and the fact that we got this flirt card as the theme, this is somebody wanting to come back to you and talk about, I fucked up, let's move forward. Why the hell is some flirting going on? I don't think that this is this person. I think that this this spread tells two different stories. I think that maybe there's going to be a conversation and, and there's going to be some strength. This could be some transferring of energies. But to stay true to my title, how does Bay feel about you? Bay fucked up and Bay wants to have a passionate conversation. But this overall theme is flirting. I don't think you want to have you don't you want no parts of this Virgo. You like fuck this. And that is how I'm feeling about it. That is what I'm picking up. You like, no, fuck this. I'm not trying to do. I'm trying to move on now. Book a private reading with me so we can find out who the hell you flirting with. I don't think it's this damn person. I'm just going to put it out there for you. OK, it's not this goddamn person that then fucked up. I'm sorry. OK, remember. The overall energy is a struggle to stay ahead. You trying to flirt and move on. And it's a struggle for you to stay focused on flirting and trying to extend your lighthearted energy to others. There's an other in this equation, but you definitely don't want no parts of this goddamn king of hearts no more. OK, this is how they feel about you, Virgo. OK, that's what we're doing. If it resonated, I hope it did. Leave me a comment. Like, like, leave. I can't even talk. Y'all got me tongue tied. Leave me a comment below in the description, um, down in the comments, please. I can't talk. It's time for me to take a lunch break. I've been working too hard. But anyway, if it resonated, Virgo, rock with a sister. Go ahead and leave me some positive comments down in um, the um, comments below. I'm going to read all of them, get some feedback. Be kind and gentle with me, please. OK, thank you. If this resonated, Virgos, if this resonated with you, book me. Because I'm trying to figure out what's going on. I'm being nosy. Shit, I said the same thing to the Geminis. The Geminis was cutting up. Do you hear me? Don't even get me started with them damn Geminis, them twins. But Virgo, um, I hope this resonated with you. This was very interesting. Um, I I am completely nosy and want to know what's going on. But anyway, let's let's get my outro popping. Um, so like, share, subscribe, go ahead, leave me a comment below. If it resonated, I appreciate all of the comments. I'm going to be checking all of the feedback. Now book me for a personal reading. I've said that about 16 times, um, Virgos and any other Zodiac sign. If you like my comment, you like my energy, you like the way I put it down. You picking up what I'm putting down. Go ahead. That information is also in the description below. I am offering 25% for to all of my new subscribers. Okay. Um, the 25% coupon is going to take 25% off of all of my readings. I'm pretty affordable anyway. Okay. Abroad only been, um, reading for about six months. I'm passionate about it though. Um, and it's, they, my, my readings have really been resonating. I'm not going to use all of these, you know, it, my readings are amazing. I think that I'm just down to earth and I'm just giving it to you as I see it. And I think that that has been really resonating with people. I read locally here where I live and I really been popping. So um, it was um, a dream of mine to go ahead and convert to YouTube and I am here. So enough about me. All of that information is in the um, comment in the description box below how to find me. Um, the 25% off will be affected today, May 3rd, and it will go through May 31st. If the momentum is good, I will continue to offer this to my new subscribers and people that will subscribe to me. You will be blessed. Thank you very much. Um, and that has been your reading, Virgo. Um, if you want to see what's up with Marvelous Madame, I am on other uh, social media platforms. I do other readings. There will be other content that I will be uploading to this channel as well. So that has been your reading, Virgo. 
I will see you next month when we see how this unfolds. I'm being nosy, so I want to know what the hell is going to happen. But that's been your reading. Thank you for rocking with me um, today with, re with readings by Marvelous. And um, I'll check you out the next time. Bye.